Here inside the WV Mason Coaches Support, Andrew Jorsad, joined by the head coach of the Hofstra Pride women's soccer team, Simon Rodia. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me on this. A 3 nothing loss to Drexel on the road, 2-1 loss to Delaware. Your overall thoughts on those games? Obviously, extremely disappointed. Um, traditionally, over the last three or four times we've played at those places, those venues, we've struggled. Uh, I don't think we've got more than one point after the last five games away at Drexel slash Delaware. So traditionally, it's probably where we expect it to be or normally, but unfortunately, that's not our expectations as a program. Uh, we expect to beat Drexel, we expect to beat Delaware, and uh, especially on road trips, at least split, and we didn't. We didn't play very well, and uh, unfortunately, against these these kind of teams, you can't, you can't have a, a bad day at the office, and that's exactly what we did. What do you think has allowed those teams to bottle you guys up uh, in those venues in the past? Well, Drexel's a very tough place to play. Um, it's a turf, turf field, which is similar to ours, but for some reason it's just the environment. And, uh, and maybe Drexel play extremely well at home. And you've got to give credit to them. Uh, Delaware's a grass field, which is obviously a different surface to us. And uh, again, I think, I think all teams in our conference play a little bit extra hard at home. And uh, then you've got to deal with the travel and all that other aspects. But no excuses. It was just, uh, you know, both performances were actually not bad, uh, but we gave up critical goals at critical times of the game. And when you do that, you're not going to win in this conference. Your team earned 10 corners in that uh, match against Delaware. What do you think that says about your team's offense to be able to, pat, to, uh, to get those consistent corners? Yeah, again, uh, when you look at the overall play on both games, it was fairly even. Um, you know, and I think at, at certain times in each game we, we dominated proceedings for 20, 25 minutes. Unfortunately, we gave up two soft goals in both games early. And when you dig a hole of two goals in a, a conference game, it's going to be very difficult to get out of that. And that's what we found. And um, we have to tighten our defensive shape. We have to tighten our individual mistakes. And we have to figure things out. Um, and I don't know what to put my finger on, it, you know, uh, but we're going to figure it out and hopefully this week and we'll see the uh, just desserts of that. Carrie Baum, she took three shots in those combined two games. Do you think she's going to become a part of your offense going forward? Yeah, uh, she kind of she got injured early on, which kind of took her out of the, the fray a little bit. Uh, I didn't really fully recovered. Uh, we gave her another chance uh, at Drexel and I thought she came on in and made an impact for that 15, 20 minutes. And therefore it forced us to, to put in the starting lineup uh, the following Sunday. The, the issue with this team is not much consistency going on with certain players. Uh, so the starting lineup is not as uh, set in concrete as it us usually is for me, uh, which is an in interesting place for me to be in. Uh, but Kerry Baum did play well again on Sunday, and we would expect her to play a bigger role moving forward this weekend. And just looking forward to this weekend, you have two matches against the College of Charleston and UNCW. First, just looking at the Cougars, what do you expect to see in that matchup against Charleston? Well, Christian, uh, I've got a lot of respect for how he, he continues to to play the style he does. Uh, they play a very beautiful style of soccer, and he, he's continued to keep that philosophy. And he's paying dividends this year. Uh, they've gone eight games unbeaten, uh, which is a testament of a very good team. It's going to be tough. We're playing away again on grass, uh, and we're going to have to we're going to have to find a way to battle and, and find a way to get points. And then obviously uh, our old adversary, uh, Paul Carney. Uh, me and him always go at it from bench to bench, but uh, there's a, a big mutual respect. A, we're good friends actually. Uh, we know it's going to be a battle. Um, he's going to get them prepared to to fight fight with us and. And we've got to be, uh, we've got to be tough, and we've got to stand up for that. It's two tough games again. Uh, starting the conference, uh, four away games is never easy, and uh, it kind of, kind of is a little bit unfair. However, that's what it is, and teams have to do it, and we have to do it this year. So we'll, we'll get through it, and hopefully we'll, we'll come back with a couple of points. Uh, ideally, two wins. Uh, but right now, we'll, we'll grab anything at the moment. Besides what you just said about staying tough on the road, what do you think the team needs to do to get a couple of wins there? Well, again, we have to stay, keep tight. Um, 
as I mentioned, Drexel and Delaware, we gave up two soft goals within the first 20, 25 minutes of both games. You can't do that. Um, a goal in each game from set pieces, uh, poor defending, and then the, the second goals were just poor individual errors. And uh, very uncharacteristic for the players who made those errors, but unfortunately that's what happens, and, and you just can't do that in, in this conference. This conference is tough, a lot of parity, and if you, if you give teams a chance to capitalise on, on mistakes, they will do. And that's what we found this weekend. He's Simon Rudioff, head coach of the Hofstra Prime women's soccer team. Thanks for joining us, coach.